ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to At Home with the Royal Butler and of course the Royal Dachshund, or I, sh I should say Shimba, the Royal Dachshund, who is here giving me support uh, this week to do another At Home with the Royal Butler because he was a wonderful uh, assistant last week when I wasn't quite myself. And thank you to all of you for all your messages, emails. Uh, it was amazing. So many messages from a lot of you just checking that I was okay. And the reality was I had a really bad cold. Dare I say man flu. I did worry that it was COVID. I took myself off for a COVID test just to make sure that it wasn't COVID. And of course it was negative. I didn't have COVID. I just had a really bad cold. But it did slightly uh, floor your Royal Butler. I was, I was in bed and I had a couple of days of literally just resting. And the main thing for me was to get better because on the Friday, I had a Royal Afternoon Tea class in Worcester at the Royal Worcester Porcelain Factory. And I thought it'd be quite fun to give you a little insight, uh, a little preview of what I got up to. So I did some filming while I was there. And here is the filming that I did last Friday as I just to let you see what I got up to. So despite my cold this week, I'm off to give a tea class, which is quite uh, good because last week was the afternoon tea week. And it's quite nice that the week after, I'm still getting to enjoy tea because I'm giving a tea class in Worcester and it's for, uh, it's for, quite, it's for a private client. I think it's about 60 guests uh, coming along and I'm going to give a little bit on the history of afternoon tea, uh, having tea with royals and then obviously tea etiquette so it should be quite fun but this is a beautiful place I haven't been to Worcester for quite a long time actually so I'll give you a little a quick tour and then I'll show you where we're going to be holding today's class. Hmm. I think I look quite smart don't I despite my cold. Hmm. And there you go. So now you've had a little sneak preview as to what I got up to. But it got me thinking that a lot of you are quite interested in the porcelain and the china that I use when I do my online courses or when I do my little videos. For example, when I did quarantine etiquette last year, quite a few of you were really interested in the china that I was using. So I thought what would be quite good fun is to get some of it out the cupboard. So here we've got a few, few pieces behind me and I'd quickly uh, just describe what it is and if you get the chance you might want to purchase some of this as well but also just to say don't go too silly when paying for the china because you can get it for quite reasonable as some of you know I like my car boots my charity shops my antique shops and you can find pieces of nice china and porcelain at, at very reasonable prices especially here in the UK so if you come over to the UK and you get to go to a car boot 
uh, is it a garage sale? Is that what you call them, garage sales? Um, or anything like that, it's well worth having a little look around and see what you can find. Now, the two sets of uh, the china and the porcelain behind me are two of my favourites. In fact, a lot of you know that because I keep reusing the same the same uh, china and porcelain for the, the online things that I do. And the first thing I've got here, which I'll pick up, is my china. It's my Minton china. So there we go. I don't know if you can see that. I'll bring that up just so you can have a little look. Sorry if it's a little bit out of focus. I need to kind of maybe go that way. Hopefully it'll be a bit more in focus. So it's got the little stamp on the back. And then there is the pattern, which I think you agree is quite pretty. I love this. I mean, I've been collecting this for about 15, 15 years or so. And the, with this set, there is dinner plates, there's the fish plates. Now the fish plates, I wanted to quickly show you because some of you ask what I use for my afternoon tea plates. Well, this is what I use. This is the, this is the fish plates. Uh, traditionally, these are fish plates. So they're slightly smaller than the main course plate. And these are perfect for my afternoon tea because they're just a nice size, perfect size for the sandwiches, the scones and the cakes. Don't be horrified. You can see there, there's a chip. So it is, it is, it's been well used. It is old. I tend not to use the chip china when I have guests here. Um, but obviously it, I love this and it's getting harder and harder to find. But on saying that, if I can quickly show you just behind me, here's a little, um, there's a nice little sauce boat uh, that goes with it. And there we go. It's even got the, it's got the ladle. If I quickly show you that, it's got the ladle and everything in here. I must confess, I haven't actually, I'll hold that up a little bit more, I haven't actually used this yet, but I absolutely love this, this little dish. And then if I place that down for a second, we've also got a piece that I got the other day. In fact, it's even still got its price tag. So you've got Antique uh, Minton. It says New Stone and 20, reduced from 30 to 20 pounds for that. And this would have a lid. I think I have a lid somewhere for it. I'm gonna have a little look in, in my attic because I think I have got a lid for this, weirdly. And if I do, that'll complete this, this dish. And I mean, this, if you were having a dinner, for example, you could put, uh, you could have potatoes in there, you could have vegetables, but I would also use this for my afternoon tea because you could also have like, crumpets uh, in the winter for afternoon tea. I could use crumpets, put crumpets in that if, if I wanted. So many uses for that. And I said, that's one of my newest pieces that I've just found. And it will all go with the rest of the set in my Welsh dresser, which is just behind the camera where I like to keep the china. And then the porcelain, if I just get one of the plates for you to see, this is my French porcelain and it's called Havland. And obviously it's French. And it's, it's, you can't really tell, I don't think, forgive me if I look down here, it's just I've got a little monitor so I can see what I'm showing you to make sure that you can see it okay. Um, this is very fine. This is really, really fine. It, it's so easily uh, damaged this sadly because if it gets put away um, too quickly or other plates kind of go on top of it, it's so easy to get hairline cracks. So you've got to be really careful with this. I love this as well. It's, it's one of my favorites. Now, extraordinary as this might seem, I've got a huge set of this. I mean, in the Welsh dresser, I've probably got enough to do a dinner party of probably about 15 or so, but that's only half of it. I've actually got more of this stored in my attic in the loft above the house. So uh, if I wanted to do a huge estate banquet, I'd have, I would have enough of it. And again, I use this for afternoon tea, I use this for lunches and I'll use it for dinners. It's the same with the Minton. I'll use that for, I'll even use this for breakfast as well, the, the French the French porcelain and the Minton. Uh, as I said, I'll use it both for lunches and both for dinners. I kind of mix them up a little bit so that I, I kind of, if I've got guests here, I just use different sets throughout the day. And of course, there we've got the main course plate just there as well, which is very, very nice. And these little dishes, which I've got as well, I use these for, um, Say I have an afternoon tea, I'll put maybe clotted cream in one and jam in the other. I mean, I think the thing about this kind of china is when you've got it, it's just trying to make it work for you. So it's when you do an event, a lunch, a dinner, 
an afternoon tea, a breakfast. It's trying to think what, what you can use these dishes for and kind of get them, put them back into use again. Because as lovely as, as it is to have it, it's a shame if you don't actually use it. So that's the thing. I actually use all of this every day. And also, of course, when I've got guests. I do have other china that I use when it's, if it's just myself, just for day-to-day -day use, which doesn't really matter if I'm a bit more, um, you know, if it's just me, I'm not that obviously bothered. But if I've got friends or family or anyone visiting, then I like to bring out the, the best. A bit like Mrs. Bouquet from Keep My Appearances, only the, only the best will do. And that's where I will bring some of this out as well. Date-wise, this is quite old. Um, the Minton easily goes back to the Victorian times and the French porcelain, I'm not 100% sure. I'd like to think it probably goes back to mid-early 19th, uh, sorry, mid-early 20th century, but I could be wrong, could be even be earlier. Uh, but the Minton certainly is, is older. And as I said, I love it. I don't put it through a dishwasher. Uh, I always hand wash all of this just so that... Um, I just think it's safer. I'm sure some of you will put these kind of things through dishwashers, but I'm just I'm just a bit more cautious when it comes to uh, looking after it. So I hope you've enjoyed this little insight into my porcelain and china and you enjoyed that little visit round the Royal Worcester Porcelain Factory and as I said if you get a chance well worth a visit and I will see you on Friday for the next In Conversation with the Royal Butler. Shumba as always has fallen asleep on my lap which is what he seems to be quite good at doing these days. I think he's kind of, he's obviously needing to have his rest because last week he was looking after me and now this week he wants it to be um, the other way around, don't you? You enjoying your rest? Yes. You having a good sleep? We haven't talked about the china that you use. You'll need to do an episode where you actually demonstrate your china. Is that a good idea? But as I said, I will see you on Friday. Until then, stay safe. Please keep the comments coming in. Please keep subscribing. And until then, take care of yourselves and enjoy the rest of your week. Bye.